the Gen 4 Glock 20, Glock Perfection in 10mm. <laughs> This gun has been cleared and safety checked, so as far as you know, it's safe. This is the Gen 4 Glock 20 10 millimeter. It's a polymer frame striker fired gun. All Glocks are polymer frame striker fired guns. You can see I've done some changes to it, and I'll go over those um, in just a minute. The frame has stippling on the sides, the back, and the front. Um, has the finger grooves. There's some texturing on the front of the trigger guard. It's 15 plus one, unless you're in a restrictive state, then it's 10 plus one. Unloaded, it's 30.69 ounces, fully loaded with 15 rounds. It's 39.86 ounces. Um, it's a little bit heavier because it's a little bit larger it's a standard frame, um, so it's a larger frame. It's a little bit chunky, but uh, for my hands, it's still comfortable. The sights are the standard Glock U-notch sights. The trigger has the trigger dongle, um, their safe action trigger. It is just over six pounds. There's a little bit of take up and a fairly crisp break. Being 10 millimeter, there's a little more recoil, but um, I don't think it's too bad for me personally. To take it down, pull back slightly, pull down on your takedown, and if it doesn't pop free, just pull the trigger and that'll release the slide. The recoil spring, this is not the stock one, um, the stock one is a two-piece design. I changed it out for a single coil um, just because I wanted the red. The barrel is 4.6 inches long. To reinstall it, just slide it back in. Slide your recoil spring in and slide it back on your frame rails. Mine has pig nose like a lot of Glocks do. That's where the end of the frame will turn upwards because of the heat. It's just a cosmetic thing. Um, you can straighten it out. You heat it and then bend it back. I'm not that worried about it. It has a rail on the front with one slot. Uh, as I mentioned, I made some changes. Um, I just mainly went was going for red accents. The um, slide lock, slide release. The stock ones are stay real close to the frame, so it can be a little harder to uh, release the slide. So when I changed it out, I went to an, an extended one. It's really hard to find parts like this for the G20, at least it was when I did mine. Um, I had to alter this one a little bit. The takedown is actually an extended takedown for a smaller frame, and the extended ones are the exact same size as the stock one for the larger frame. The stock magazine release is reversible. This one I have installed on the right side. Um, it's just a little more comfortable for me to use my middle finger uh, to push it in rather than my thumb. I also added a plug because normally this little hole is open and you don't want to get uh, foreign objects in your little hole. I changed the back plate too and that's purely cosmetic. Changing the base plate on the mags is a pain. Most magazines you just push the button and slide the base plate off. There's an extra tab on the Glock mags that you have to get over. There is a tool to remove these base plates. I've never used it. It probably makes it a lot easier. I know without it, 
pain in the ass. As I said, it's, it is a little chunky, but you've got the extra back straps to hopefully customize your grip um, to where it's comfortable. A lot of people don't like the Glocks because of the grip angle. Um, they seem to be a little straighter up and down. It doesn't bother me, but I think that's just because I'm an average shooter. You know, not great, not bad. So grip angle doesn't affect me as much. I really do like this gun. It's one of my favorite guns to shoot. Um, I like the pop of the 10 millimeter. The um, Glock claims that the little bit of flex in the frame um, lessens the recoil. I think it's more the frame flexes, so they tout that as a benefit. So if you're looking for a 10 millimeter pistol, you don't mind polymer, and you can kind of get over the generic look of the Glock. Uh, this one is really worth checking out.